Hi, this is Chris. I'm happy to give you some instructions, tips, and tricks on how to wire your Comfort Star AHU and CPR unit using a Comfort Star wired controller or a 24 volt thermostat. So, first thing I want to do is show you the AHU unit and how it wires up to the wired controller. Remember, the wires are going from the AHU to the wired controller and from the AHU to the outdoor unit, to the CPR. No wires will go from the wired controller to the outdoor unit. So we're going to take off this top panel here. And once the top panel is off, on the top left hand corner, you're going to see your circuit board. Looking at your circuit board, you'll see S485 over here with terminal block screws or S485 over here with the Molex. We have it wired with yellow and red at the moment. These are non-polarized wires, so it doesn't make much a difference. But we have red to HB, yellow to HA. On this side, we have about the same, red to HB, yellow to HA. Again, it could be in a Molex plug, depending on what generation system you have. Now looking back at our circuit board here, we have S485 that we dealt with already. And just behind that, we have CN20 board, okay? White goes to S1, blue goes to S2. That's just in this case. These are non-polarized cables. You could do it as you please. If you come out to the CPR unit, we have it wired just the same. S1, S2, B, W, and D. You'll see that arrow just to the right of it is for this top line of terminal block screws. White and blue went to S1, S2. R, C, Y1, Y2 is for this bottom set of terminal block screws. We're not using those for this wiring setup. No other wire should go into S1 or S2. This may fry your board. This wiring, you'll see SW1, SW2, SW3 for your dip switches. It should all be set as off. And for this installation at the CPR, those dip switches should be all off. So we have disconnected the wired controller S485, S1 and S2 are also disconnected. We're now going to give you some instructions on how to wire the 24 volt thermostat. We have red to R, white to common, green to G, yellow to Y, blue to W. We're using the blue to W in this case because we do have a heating strip. If you do not need any heating or furnace applications, you can go ahead and disregard this. Okay, remember the top line is for this top line of terminal screws. The bottom line is for the bottom line of terminal screws. At the top, we have W connected for our heating strip. You remember S1 and S2 are over here. No power should go there. Any power, including 24 volt power, can go ahead and fry your board. R, C, and Y are at the bottom. We have those connected at class two here. Now for this 24 volt thermostat, we have switched the dip switches at number one and number four on SW1 to on. This is at the AHU. Moving over to the CPR, we switched over the dip switch number two to on. Everything else stays off. We hope this was helpful in wiring your AHU and your CPR units to a 24 volt thermostat or to a wired controller.